any more further ado from me, I'll hand back to you. Okay. Hi everyone, um, could you raise your hands if you're familiar with Sam Hunt? Yeah, New Zealand Bard, excellent. Okay, so this is an homage that I wrote for Sam Hunt when um, I was invited by a literary festival to come and share the stage with Sam Hunt at the Parnell Rose Gardens. So I dropped everything, I wrote this poem for him, and I got to the Parnell Rose Gardens, and indeed, I was sharing the stage with Sam Hunt, but he had been there seven hours before me, <laughs> had left, and there I was without my Sam Hunt. So I'm just going to share with you um, this poem. Sam, Sam, my orange crayon stick figure man, I love you because you are what you do. And you did what you said. Back in 82, I was 11 when you came to our Avondale school. You looked drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but you were nobody's fool. Like the unsung Pied Piper, you played your own tune. And we followed, and we followed, in shirt hung like a rolling stone maxim, flung over black exclamation mark jeans, puncturing our poetry rules forever. And I loved you. And we followed, and we followed, and we followed your D.B. Brown words, your hill-rolling <laughs> slurs, your breaths, your chants, your lamentations, your strides, your quivers, your gesticulations. So I want to beg your pardon. I know you never promised me a rose garden, <laughs> but here we are and I'm doing what you did, and I'm saying what you said, and I'm telling. Sam, Sam, my orange crayon stick figure man, we'd only just begun when you colored in our tongue, waxing oh so lyrical, tragical, comical, Kiwi Shakespeare sharing in our school hall, from one rant to the next, to the one after that to that. Sam, you one cool cat, and I love you. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Selena will also be one of our speakers uh, for Untamed Stories as well, so if you want to hear more from, from Selena, I'd like to come along to um, that fantastic event as well. I'd also like to acknowledge our other uh, writer for, for today, 